all about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a holiday that celebrates the value of family, community, and culture. Kwanzaa is celebrated from December 26th to January 1st. It has no ties to any religion, so Kwanzaa is celebrated alongside other holidays of this season, like Hanukkah or Christmas. Kwanzaa was created by Dr. Milana Karenga in 1966. It was the first specifically African-American holiday to be celebrated in the United States. He wanted to bring African-Americans together and help them feel stronger as a people. Dr. Karenga was worried that African-Americans would not remember their own history. The word Kwanzaa comes from the Swahili phrase Matanda e Kwanzaa. This means first fruit. Swahili is a widely spoken language in East Africa and in African communities around the world. The number seven is special during Kwanzaa. Since it's a seven day celebration of seven principles with seven symbols, an extra A was added to the name so it also has seven letters. Each day of Kwanzaa has a specific meaning. The seven principles of Kwanzaa represent the history and the strength of black communities worldwide. Each night of Kwanzaa, a candle is lit for each principle. The first principle is unity. When people come together, they are capable of anything. The second principle is self-determination. Speak up for yourself and don't wait for someone else to define who you are. The third principle is collective work and responsibility. Everyone takes responsibility for playing a role in building up their community because it's about collaboration and cooperation. The fourth principle is cooperative economics. This means building and maintaining businesses to serve your community or supporting your local shops and businesses. The fifth principle is purpose. Finding your own unique purpose in life and using it to help your community in your own special way. The sixth principle is creativity. Develop your creativity and use it to build up your community and to make it better and more beautiful for future generations. And our last principle is faith. This is having faith and believing in the value of your family, community, people, and culture. Many homes display a special collection of items during Kwanzaa. These are the seven symbols of Kwanzaa. The Mkeka, a decorative straw mat. This is the foundation of Kwanzaa. It's the symbolic base where the other six symbols sit. It's a representation of the rich tapestry of African tradition and history, reminding us of the strong foundation on which they stand. Kinara, a candle holder. This candle holder proudly cradles the seven candles of Kwanzaa. It's not just a holder, it's a symbol of African heritage celebrating their roots. The candles, like stalks of corn, branch off to create new ones, representing the growth of the human family and the hopes that are passed on through children. The Mishumasaba, Seven Candles. The seven candles in the Kanara represent one of the seven principles of Kwanzaa, and they light up a value to be cherished each day. Mazao, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and other crops. These represent a celebration of abundance harvested by African villagers. They symbolize the rewards that come with hard work, like the crops and the nourishing fruits of Africa. Mahindi, ears of corn. Mahindi, or ears of corn, are a touching symbol representing the future. There is one for each child in the family, and it's a beautiful reminder of the young ones who carry the legacy forward. Kikombe cha umoga, a unity cup. This is a communal cup for sharing. As one of the main principles of Kwanzaa, unity makes all the other principles possible. Zawadi, homemade gifts. These gifts aren't just tokens, they're a creative expression encouraging growth, self-determination, and achievement. The first Kwanzaa celebrations took place in 1966 in the United States. It reached us here in Canada just 30 years ago in 1993. Since then, it's spread to black communities worldwide. 
Many people decorate their homes for Kwanzaa with bright colors, especially the colors of Kwanzaa, red, black, and green. And of course, the seven symbols. Many people celebrate with families and friends and share delicious meals for seven days. At first, African meals were the focus, but now anything goes. Kwanzaa is the time to cook the foods you would eat with your family. The Kwanzaa Ya Imani is a feast that takes place on December 31st. The Karamu may include drumming and music, a reading of the African Pledge, talking about the history of black communities, lighting candles and artistic performances like a dance or a play. All of this is then followed by a wonderful feast. Although giving presents isn't a big part of Kwanzaa, parents are encouraged to help children make their own gifts because it brings a sense of satisfaction for parents and for the children. These gifts are usually given on the last day of Kwanzaa, January 1st. And there you have it, all about Kwanzaa, a celebration that started as a spark of hope and grew into a radiant flame of cultural connection. Thanks for joining us on this festive journey. And don't forget to like for more content like this and subscribe for more educational stories and content curated especially for Canadian educators like you.